to the fourth installment of 10, learning how to use Office integration features. In this tutorial, we'll be using Office 2016, but these techniques will work back to Office 2007 with some slight differences in ribbon menus, dialog boxes, and smart tag options. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use Word to create an Outlook signature. Let's begin. We begin in Word by inserting a table to give some structure to the signature. Now, as I create a two cell table, this allows me to place a logo on the left and add my text on the right hand side. So I'm going to insert my logo, size the logo down, adjust my column width, and then insert the text that I want in the signature. Now when you're inserting hyperlinks, which is a great idea in a signature, you'll notice that Word automatically turns them into hyperlinks if it recognizes it as a web page. So that's kind of nice. And then I can go ahead and adjust the fonts, the attributes, make it larger, smaller, apply bold, and so on. So I'm just going to make a few changes here. and remove the borders. Now, that's just one signature and I've saved this file so that I can maintain a series of different signatures. Some will be more complex and have more detail based on the type of message I'm sending. So I'm going to go ahead and paste another one that I created with some examples of additional things that you can include in a signature. Things like video tutorials on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and so on and so forth. So if you maintain those websites, it's actually a nice idea to include them in a signature. You may also want to apply a hyperlink to the logo itself, just because people often expect those to be hyperlinks. So you would click uh, with the right mouse button on the logo, click hyperlink, create the website link, and off you go. We'll see how this works in the signature once we copy and paste it into Outlook. I can make this column a little narrower. It doesn't need to be quite as wide. And this one as well. Now, saving the file, I'm ready to copy and paste both of these, creating a signature for each of them and using them interactively with the messages I'm sending. So I'm going to select and copy the first one. I've already opened up a blank message window. It's just as easy to go in here through the signature button on the ribbon to create the next signature. So I'm going to click new, create a name. This one's going to be called business simple logo. And as you'll see, when I paste, that's going to go into the signature window down below, ready for me to use on my message. So as I click on the drop down under signature, there it is. So now let's add the next one back here from Word and taking it into Outlook. Signature, signatures, and again, business, expanded logo. It's got more detail information and as I paste it in here you can see those links are going to be enabled clicking OK and then expanded logo is the next one you can actually toggle back and forth from one to the other and when the person receives the message they'll be able to click on it directly you can test the links by holding the control key down on the link and it will launch in a browser window so that's how you create signatures in a Word document with enhancements that would be a little trickier to create within the Outlook window. The signature dialog box really isn't that sophisticated as you can see. You can get pretty creative as well. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next video tutorial in this Office integration series.